Hello! Hey! Hi, I'm Asker, also known online as Hamfrax. Let's get this stabilized now. I'm out geocaching today, which is, if you don't know, that is a worldwide treasure hunt for small little treasures, geocaches, hidden all around the world. There are some in Denmark too. Actually, there are like hundreds of thousands in Denmark, the country where I live. And uh, in fact, there is supposedly, I think there should be one right down here let's let's go look for it why don't we now i don't know where this thing is but according to my phone which is what i use to find these things it's right over here somewhere the hint says that it's near a fallen tree that would be this one right oh let's actually point the camera at what we're talking about so let's get over to it and let's see if we can't find this little thing. It's supposed to be just a little waterproof container. Is it over by this mess? Might be. It's supposed to be real big. So I'm actually quite impressed with myself that I haven't found it yet. Come on now. All right, is it up in here? I think I'm getting close. Well, lots of branches. There's a fallen tree somewhere in there. I see it. So let's get over there and see if there isn't a little geocache waiting for me to find it. Uh, no. Doesn't look like it. All right, this is a horrible start for this video, but I don't think I can find it. And you know what? I just checked the logbook online to see to see what other people had to say about this geocache. And you know what? The people who were here before me also didn't find it. There's been, there have been three people here trying to find it that didn't find it. So you know what? I don't think it's here. I'm pretty sure it's not here. Well, that was that whole intro to this episode straight down the drain. Not gonna happen, not gonna find it. What am I gonna do now? Well, let's just get straight into business because this is actually not the most important reason that we're here. You see, I'm a man on a mission. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. And so I want to find every single geocache there is to find in this county. Not this country, mind you. There are hundreds of thousands, as I said, of these things in the country of Denmark. But this county that I live in, this county that I'm in right now, only has a modest amount of geocaches. This is a very rural county. So, not a lot of geocaches, but it's a very big county, so they're scattered all around this huge area. Now, luckily, I live here, but it's still a big undertaking. So, um, well, let's get started, Scout, shall we? This forest here is only the first stop on the journey that I'm on today. I want to go to the northernmost tip, or uh, part, of this uh, county that I live in, to go to a, a city, or a town, called Villasuri which has some interesting story to it. You see, it was the home of one of Denmark's, my country's, most beloved personalities during World War II. And while I'm there, there's a very special piece of vegetation that I'm looking to try and find while I'm there. I said that twice. So, enough talking. Let's get going. Let's go north. I made it right over here is the house or the farm whatever the rectory actually is the right word where this guy I was talking about the World War II guy he lived his name was Kite Monk this is what he looks like or looked like and if anyone's interested this is what he sounded like there is this little sound snippet you can hear he was stormen. He 
fooling the storm. If I'm not mistaken, that is the only known sound clip, sound recording of this guy's voice before he died, or after, his, or after he died for that matter. He was killed by the Germans in World War II. Maybe I should go back and tell you who this guy was. This guy was a priest, or a pastor, or a minister, whatever the word is, whatever you want to use. We only have one word for it in Danish. Now, Kai Monk wasn't actually from around here. He was actually born way down on the southern island of Denmark, the exact opposite end of the country as to where I am right now. But somehow he ended up right here in the middle of the windswept, windswept and harsh landscape of Western Jutland. Now, the guy was very outspoken against the German regime, so much, in fact, that he would actually incorporate it into his sermons, his speeches, his services, I don't know what it's called, at the church. And, uh, well, um, yeah, he got in trouble for that. So, as I already said, some SS soldiers showed up at this door, said, yep, yeah, you'd better come with us. And they got in the car, and, um, well, they didn't get out of the car until they was actually, like, an hour of driving away from here. And they got out of the car, and he was shot right there on the spot. I don't know the full story, but um, it wasn't pretty. Now, that was some heavy talk. Um, put a pin in the fact that this guy was not from this area. And let's, uh, let's go find another cache, shall we? All right, so according to my phone, there's a geocache right out here. A couple more meters in this direction, and I intend to find it. And I intend to show you it because I couldn't find that other one. So let's see if we can't find this one. All right, it seems like we've got, is this a beehive? No, what is this? This is no beehive, this is some kind of box. Oh, it's a little stream. That's interesting. Now, where is this cache? Well, first thought I'm getting is, let's look underneath this bench. See if there isn't something hiding up there. Nothing and nothing. Nope, this is not it. I'll have to, I'll have to maybe go and look behind the box. Second guess, is this correct? Is it behind the box? Oh, looks like it sure is. Yeah, there's something right there. Okay, let's have a look in, inside that. Oh, sliding out. And there's a little waterproof tube container in here. I thought it enough. This is the geocache. So let's open this up, sign the lockbook that's inside of it, and then let's move on to our actual mission. That's right, this isn't even our actual mission. I'll sign this and I'll get going. There's the lockbook. There's my name on it. Don't know if you can see that. All right, so I'll get this bag into the container. I'll hide it again and then I'm going to go see if I can't find a very special flower that's supposed to be growing around here. Now, Kai Monk, he wrote a very, very famous song, at least it's famous in, famous in Denmark, about a blue anemone. A little flower that he took, this is an actual story, a little flower that he took all the way with him from the island where he was born and over to, to this, my county, where he became a pastor, a minister, a priest, whatever. Now, my dad has been here recently, a month ago, and he found one of these blue anemones because this guy, he planted them here and he didn't think they were gonna make it in this harsh uh, climate out here, so close to the, to the sea. It's all windswept and the, the earth is not very fertile, but it did survive. And now they're growing right here at the rectory. My dad found one of them last month and he wrote me a little map. Don't know if you can read that. I'm, I'm trying to read it. It's okay. So I'll try and follow this map and see if I can't find one of these fabled blue anemones. Now there are lots of little white anemones. They're all over the country, but these blue ones, there are none in, in this county except for right up here at the rectory. Let's see if I can't find it. I'm so excited. Okay, okay. I'm, maybe I've made it out to be more than it actually is, but it's, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, let's go find it. Yeah. All right, I'm here next to the rectory out in the garden. I've got the map, treasure map, and now it's just an, uh, the question of finding 
these little blue flowers. No, nope, these these aren't the ones. Nope, they have to be blue, and they have to be small and fragile, because that's how anemones look. It's just a matter of well, I guess looking at the, looking at the map. Let's look at the map. Now I'm standing here looking at the map. This is supposed to be the car that I came here in, and I never would have known if you hadn't told me beforehand. Now this is a map of the rectory. Oh, focus, you. This is the lawn of the garden that I'm in right now. Looky here, I'm in the garden, and before I actually do anything, I see some blue flowers way over here. Are these the ones? Are they? I mean, oh wow, look at how many there are of them. I don't think these are the ones, though, because they, these don't really look like... These don't really look like anemones. Look, here's an anemone right there. That's an anemone. It's not quite the same thing, is it? Anemones seem to be larger? It might be it, but I think I'll go looking some more. Now, according to this map my dad drew, I'm supposed to follow the, the, the grass all the way down here until I get to kind of a hill. So let's follow the patch of grass all the way down here. So I'm standing right here and there's kind of a hill right there. Also another kind of hill over there, but it looks like on the map that there are two hills. This is supposed to be a hill right here, hoi. And this over here, I guess it's a hill. So I guess this would be the one that is over there. And if I just follow this down here, that would be the hill that I'm looking for over there. Are there any blue anemones? I want to see blue anemones. Or I'm going home. Probably going home no matter what. But, hey, it's good to have steaks. Oh, I see something blue. I see something blue over there. Oh, there's something blue on the hillside too. Are these what I'm looking for? Huh. I... I Actually, now that I'm looking at them, I think these are what I'm looking for, aren't they? They're supposed to be right here on the hill, and they are. Here's a normal white anemone for scale, I guess. I mean, they're a bit, they're not as large, but they're definitely the same shape, aren't they? They're missing some, some of the, their leaves, but to me, it definitely seems like They're the same kin. What about these down here? Oh, that's my shadow. Oh, never mind. I think it's safe to conclude that I have found what I'm, look what I'm looking for. A lot of other anemones, but there definitely are still blue anemones in here. Even though it's like 80 years ago that this guy came and planted them. That's pretty crazy to have a legacy like that in the form of a flower. Let's show you my face. Maybe I should take some of the plants from around this area. Something real memorable, something recognizable. And I should go somewhere else and plant it. And that will be my legacy. I guess this is the end of my adventure. For today, that is. I don't know. Should I make more of these videos? I really enjoy making these. I say that because I've already done it in the past, but that was in Danish. Of course, this is in English. It's a bit a bit weird for a Dane to stand out here in the Danish nature and speak English to his camera, even more so than if I was just speaking Danish. But I really enjoy it, and most of my audience is English anyway. What? There's a branch. Now what's this? Some fertile, fertile water. Very good, very good. Let's uh, let's finish this episode. Does that mean I'm gonna make more? I don't know. Off by going down to the lake. Have a nice day. If you enjoy this episode of geocaching with hamfrags, that's been great. Have a nice day. Bye bye. <laughs>